Well, hello again, guys. Um, I'm here today on the uh, this, oh, got my finger in the way, and on the um, the swaft uh, swaft swede seed um, that I was uh, looking at a couple of days ago. So we might remember. Um, yeah, a bit of a difficult field to shoot this one. It's really narrow, um, and there's not a whole lot of cover. There is across that far side, as you can see. Uh, there's a lovely thick edge row across there, but unfortunately there's, the field sort of splits in half and it goes to a young sugar beet over there. Um, and the wind's all wrong for that side of the field anyway. Um, so over this way, I'll spin you around. Uh, we've got another belt of trees just here. And I've got in about the only decent cover I can get, which is this canary grass. Now, you might want to bear in mind, um, I was very careful... Um, to make sure I got permission from the gamekeeper to go into his canary grass and, uh, and actually set up my hide because obviously you're going to have a big flat patch there which might not be ideal to his flushing points and things like that so it's just something you might want to bear in mind you know if you are going to do anything like that just, just make sure that you get permission off all the relevant bodies before you do it um, so if you can see the hide it's just there um, in the centre of your screen now um, it's actually, I've put two, um, two hide, two stealth hide nets on it, um, and I'll show you a photo. I wasn't, I wasn't entirely uh, happy with that at all. So um, what I did was I've, I've brought, I've, I was prepared for it because the sun's going to be right above me, so I'm going to be silhouetted. Um, so I brought out a couple of, well, actually four grass panels. Um, that me and Jack bought last year uh, went halves on them uh, we got them from Kevin at Tidepool Wildfowling uh, they're a great bit of kit so I'd really recommend those to anybody who's interested in them um, but yeah they've just thickened it out nicely and, and just hidden us a bit uh, I'm on, on my own today Jack was supposed to be coming with me but he uh, he double booked bless him so he, he had to drop out at the last minute which isn't a problem um, We've got one main flight line that you probably see that big old city tree just there. Well, they come straight past that nearly every time they come onto this field. Um, so I'm expecting the, the flight line when it does pick up, probably as it cools down a little bit today. Oh, camera's getting a bit wobbly. Um, yeah, probably as it cools down a little bit, I expect the flight line to really pick up a bit more. Um, and, and they should all more or less come over that tree. Um, We've got a wind coming from our right to our left, so as I look out across the field that way, I've set my decoys up on the left hand side. Um, sorry, I've told you one wrong. The wind's coming from our left to our right, um, so I've set all the decoys up on the left so that incoming birds are having to come past me to get to them. Um, as I say, we've got a nice belt of trees just here, um, so I'm hoping that we'll also get a bit of a flight line comes in at the bottom of the field, to my left now, just down there, and sh they should turn and come up this little belt of trees, little hedgerow, um, and hopefully you should get some flighting shots along there as the day goes on as well. Um, that's actually been more active this morning from what I've seen than what the main flight line has been. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll stop jabbering on like an idiot as usual, um, and uh, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. I've I've kind of put out a minimalistic decoy pattern this time. Um, you can probably see there just a dozen dozen of the enforcers. Um, they look really really good on this on this swaft um, crop. Uh, just perched a few in the tops, just to just to add a bit of uh, bit of visibility to the pattern. Um, I was going to put out a row tree, but I've got my dead birds in the freezer, which is marvellous. Um, so anyway, I'm not too worried because the, the, when the birds have been coming onto the field, they're literally just in and drop. They're not hovering about, they're not doing a lot of flapping, they're not really messing around at all. They're just straight in every time. Um, so I've tried to sort of mimic what I've seen. Um, we'll just do, like I say, the 12, 12 and 4 decoys. So we'll see how we go. We've got the shot cam today. Should get some footage on that hopefully. And uh, and I've got a, a new Canon camera as well. So hopefully be able to get a little bit of use out of that with a tripod. But 
we'll see how we go. It's going to be difficult filming on my own. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll, like I say, I'll get on, stop yapping. Um, just got the gear to put away now. Um, well, the bags and stuff, obviously. And then uh, I'm jumping the hide and we'll just see how it goes. All right, guys, catch you later. Hello again guys, well, we're still here, still having a go, um, I had to put the rosary out in the finish, as you can probably see, um, yeah, it wasn't quite what I had planned, but, uh, you know, the birds just weren't really noticing me for the first, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour or so, so, uh, luckily I'd already brought the rosary down, just had to march back to the truck real quick, grab the, uh, battery, and, um, I stuck two silly socks on it for a start, and that was enough to get me my first two uh, dead birds. And then as soon as I got those, obviously swapped them over. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it, it seems to have worked all right. Um, I've just shot my 30th bird, so can't complain on that score. But it has been absolutely ragingly hot. Um, just glad I brought my sun cream and my cap and everything else. Um oh, a pigeon on the bottom end of the field there. Uh yeah, yeah, been mega mega hot. Um but you know some a lot of the birds have worked in quite well. Know what this one's gonna do? He's gonna go away. Look a bit. Um yeah, 
so you know, like I say, um, oh crap, stocky, let me jump. Um, <laughs> getting distracted now. So yeah, we're up to 30 birds. Um, I don't know as we're going to pick them all just because I can't risk damaging this crop anymore um, than what I have to. I've dropped as many as I possibly can close to the rotary and the decoys just so that I've got half a chance of finding them. Um, but those that have gone a bit further out, you know, there's not a lot I can do about them. Um, at the end of the day, it is crop protection. And, uh, and that, that, that's what we're here for, um, you know. It's a bit of a shame. I would rather, you know, pick 100%, but you never will. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, don't know what else to tell you, really. Like I say, they've decoyed in all right. Um, there, has, there has, I mean, the flight lines I've changed throughout the day, I'm not going to lie. You know, that hedgerow down the bottom, I've been absolutely loving that this past hour or so. Um, but, again, there's not a lot you can do about it. That's pigeon shooting for you. Um, I've enjoyed the day so uh, yeah we'll carry on for another half hour or so and uh, and see how we get on it could pick up as, as things cool down a little bit it's uh, what is it about half past four now so you know should be starting to move if they're going to late evening but we'll see um, so yeah we'll, uh, we'll get back to them and uh, catch you up at the end
Alright guys, trying to do the pick up now without causing too much damage, just trying to get through these little low spots. Um, I think we've ended up with 35 shot. Um, I think I've picked up 20. So, uh, can't complain too much. Um, I've done the best I can. See the little two there. See my little pile there. Birds. Um, yeah, a load of them have dropped in this hedge, this hedge line behind me. Um, but I just cannot find them without a dog. It's going to be absolute, an absolute nightmare. And uh, I think we've got a takeaway bet on its way. So um, time for me to get going. Um, I did have a close encounter with a lovely six point roebuck, um, which I had the rifle with me. Just had to nip back and grab my stalking sticks, which I did. Came back down. Oh, there's a pigeon there. Just giving us a shout out. Um, so yeah, I grabbed the uh, grabbed the rifle. And did try to stalk into that earlier, but um, it wasn't to be. There he is cheeky little bugger. Uh, guys, um, yeah, it just it wasn't to be. I don't think he, he was chasing a doe when I first saw him, um, and uh, and yeah, he was well distracted. I did give him a couple of peeps on the caller, but you know there was no real response. Um, so anyway, jumped back in the hide and shot another half a dozen or so. But yeah, like I say, it is well and truly time now. Let me pack away bit gone i do wish i could stay a little bit longer because typically they did start coming in real well just as it was about time to start packing away but that's just the way it is um so yeah like i say ended up with 35 shot 20 picked so i'm not uh, not complaining about that at all um and i shall be back very soon for this roebuck um and hopefully we can get on to him because he's He's, he's an old boy, he's got a real nice tall set of antlers on him, um, but they're quite spindly. Um, and uh, and, and he, I think he's a real old buck looking at him. Um, so he's definitely one to to go on the uh, the call sheet, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, see what happens. Hopefully we'll catch up with him in the not near as go. Look, there's a pigeon coming in now. Poxy things. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll catch up with him pretty soon. But uh, yeah, I'll let you all get on anyway. Thank you for watching. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, if you did, then a like and subscribe is always very much appreciated. Um, really do appreciate the support that I've been getting on these videos. Um, so uh, yeah, you know, like I say, if you want to see more of it, please do give us a like and a subscribe. And um, We'll hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.